What follows is a brief screen recording of the Indiana University Virtual Reality Guide to Reading Architecture. What you're seeing now is the tutorial to the virtual reality app. And what I wanted to do with this was simply to introduce the users to the mechanics for movement and interaction that they would encounter later on in the virtual environment of uh, Columbus, Indiana. The way we handled movement was through a teleportation system. So you press and hold a button on one of the Oculus Rift touch controllers, and an arc shoots out uh, from the controller to a point on the ground. You can adjust your orientation by rotating your wrist. This teleportation is used to navigate around the virtual environment and to visit these info points where we incorporated a snapping uh, action so that when you were near one, your teleport arc would snap to the info point. At these info points, you can interact with uh, geometry, turning it on or off, or listening to audio, which is what's happening here at this info point. The info points were designed uh, with visibility in mind, so they use the Columbus logo, which is the C. And for far away info points, they have a floating C above them. This is my favorite part of the tutorial right here where when you complete it, uh, you click the button and a miniature model of Columbus, Indiana, specifically the, the plaza area that we're interested in, a appears in front of you as if it's a miniature toy model. And then when you click again, you can uh, be teleported to the full-scale model of Columbus, Indiana. You are invited to move around in our virtual reality model to discover the multiple and fascinating ways in which dialogue of engagement using architecture, landscape design, urban design, and public art build public space and by so doing create civic consciousness in Columbus. As we stand here at the southeastern corner of Pays Plaza, the reason for both the sculpture's placement and the expansive brick on the library's facade becomes clear. The library is transformed into a canvas against which Henry Moore's large arch stands in stark relief. Large Arch is an outdoor sculpture by British sculptor Henry Moore. I. M. Pei envisioned a large work of art that would stand in the Fifth Street Public Plaza to unify the space between his newly built Cleo Rogers Memorial Library, the Irwin Gardens to the east, and First Christian Church by Eliel Saarinen across the street. Pei wanted a sculpture that visitors to the plaza could engage with. Moore entrusted the positioning of the arch within the plaza to I. M. Pei. From this position, beneath the arch, the sculpture's sinuous contours embrace the facade and clock tower of the church. Pull the trigger on your controller to interact with this info point.
Entering the plaza from the pedestrian alley at the northeast, the recessed corner of the library perfectly frames the clock tower of First Christian Church. This architectural conversation across the volume of the plaza serves to both create a link between the opposite ends of the plaza and define its boundaries. Pull the trigger on your controller to highlight the architectural framing. Another important aspect of Ion Pace Plaza is the opportunity it affords to contemplate the geometries underlying the design of Saarinen's First Christian Church. Without ample space to step back and view the church and tower together, it would be impossible to appreciate the super facade invisibly inscribed in the air by First Christian Church. The peculiarly off-centered placement of the doors, crucifix, and clock are derived from these invisible geometries. Pull the trigger on your controller to show the super facade. Upon approaching the plaza from the northwest, a number of Pei's design decisions draw us into the public space and indicate that we are entering a distinct volume. The recessed corner of the library frames the facade of the first Christian church. The brick pavers on which we walk stretch forward and seem to fold upwards into the clock tower across the street. The perspectival planes of the library wall and the church nave match perfectly but only from this one particular viewpoint as we enter the plaza. Pull the trigger on your controller to reveal and hide the lines of alignment. 